Hi friends, Zoe here. I hope you're having an amazing day. Today I'm really excited because I'm going to be doing a vegan Q&A with you guys. One of our friends on the channel here, Florence, took the time to send a really thoughtful email with a bunch of really great questions on veganism. So I decided to answer them all today. I've also collected little questions here and there that I've been asked throughout other videos around veganism. So today we're gonna answer them all. And I just want to apologize for the lighting today. It's a little bit more of a gloomy day here in Rome. So I'm using artificial light today, so hopefully it's okay. And I hope that you guys stick with me here while I answer these awesome questions. Let's get started. Okay, so first question is, where do you get products like deodorant? So thank you, Florence. This is an amazing question because I get asked about that a lot. I know that all natural deodorants kind of have this negative stereotype to them that they don't actually work and all this. I am showing you guys today two products that I use that are vegan. It's toothpaste and deodorant that are both vegan and this is Arbonne. If you guys aren't familiar with the Arbonne line of products, everything is vegan and cruelty free, although it's unfortunate it's not available worldwide. You guys may know I actually used to be a consultant for Arbonne, but after moving to Italy I had to give that up because Arbonne isn't sold in Italy. Not yet anyways, soon it will be. <laughs> but if you guys are say for example living in Canada or the US or Australia, Arbonne is quite popular there. So I'm gonna make sure that I leave the website below. And if any of you are Arbonne consultants, please let us know below. Like I know my friend Jade, I'll definitely link her Facebook page and website below. She is an Arbonne consultant in Canada and she can definitely supply you with these products. So I do also have a video on my channel about my vegan makeup haul and the vegan products that I use, which is mostly all Arbonne. So the thing that I really like about being able to shop on a brand like that is the fact that you know everything is 100% vegan and cruelty free. So you can go onto the Arbonne website, buy things like makeup, which is really amazing quality, and also things like deodorant and toothpaste. I also want to note that Lush does have toothpaste and maybe they even have deodorant, I'm not sure. But also, if you go to a natural kind of health food store in your local area, most of the time they will offer natural deodorants and toothpaste. The only thing with the deodorant is because it's natural, which is the best for you, okay, you guys? We don't want to put those toxins, carcinogens into our body. But the thing that I want to note about all natural deodorant is that you might need to apply it a couple of times per day. So. Sometimes if I'm going out and about all day, I might put it in my purse. The next question is, do you buy your makeup products online? And so like I mentioned just previously is a lot of my products are Arbonne or were Arbonne because I'm not able to buy it in Italy here. I have been starting to purchase some Urban Decay products from Sephora. So for example, I recently ran out of eyeshadow primer, so I bought that, which I'll be sharing with you guys in my January favorites. And I definitely will let you know when I come across some amazing vegan, cruelty-free makeup options. But for now, I just generally like to stick to brands that are easily accessible for me to get. So in Canada, it was Arbonne and now in Italy, Sephora in Italy carries Urban Decay, so that's where we're at. <laughs> when you go with friends, are they understanding of your choices in food and products, or do you mainly spend time with other vegans? So only a few of my friends are vegan, actually. I'm lucky enough to have a vegan friend, Ingrid, here in Italy with me, which is awesome because I feel like coming to a new place, eating is such a social thing to do. And a lot of the time when you're around new people and you say you're vegan, sometimes you might be faced with a little bit of criticism. Personally, I wouldn't be friends with somebody who criticizes my choices. We're all on our own journey. I don't question what other people eat. I don't push veganism on other people. Well, parents, yeah, kind of do that to my parents, but it's just because I love them so much and I just want them to live happiest, longest lives. But I never push veganism in a negative way on people because that just turns them off of it completely. Like I said, I wouldn't be friends with somebody who criticizes me. I wouldn't be friends with somebody who judges me or tries to put me down for my choices. Veganism is about love and respect. And if people don't love and respect you, then you know maybe those aren't the right people for you to have in your life or for you to spend time with. I think that 
you deserve to spend time with people who are supportive and loving and you know what maybe that means that you need to go out there and meet new people but for example i met my friend lauren in toronto who also has a channel sugar and starch some of you guys might be familiar with her she doesn't post too much on youtube anymore but we connected through youtube and that gave me like my first vegan friend in toronto so you just never know where you, when you're going to meet these people but join some Facebook groups and try to get the conversations going and maybe you'll find those like-minded people. Not maybe you'll find, I know you'll find those like-minded people. So what do you do at holiday events for meals with your family and friends? So I was just in Denmark for Christmas and my family was so supportive. It made me all this amazing vegan food and I'm just so grateful for that. I'm just so grateful that I have a loving and kind and compassionate family who I truly know that love me and will do those things for me. But what I recommend is say if you know that you're going to someone's house that you don't know too well and it's a big gathering dinner, maybe make your own food and bring it or bring a dish that you know that you can eat for sure. Normally people always have salad and things like that. Either let them know ahead of time or like I said, bring something yourself and maybe bring something that's impressive that you wanted to try off of Pinterest and when people find out it's vegan, maybe they'll be surprised and want to know a little bit more. So. Don't be discouraged to go to these events. Don't be discouraged to be around your family. If it means packing your own lunch, it means packing your own lunch. It's just you being authentic to you and whatever you feel best about doing, then that's your life and just stick to who you are. Next, what is your favorite vegan dish that you like to make? You guys know I'm a huge fan of rice and veg and now that I'm in Italy, I'm just loving pasta and vegan pizzas and I don't know, my favorite thing to make, I like to try new things. Like I do have staples, like I said, rice. And my favorite thing to make would probably be Italian food. I just like the being able to mix all the spices and chop up all the vegetables and make everything really colorful. I feel like it makes me feel like I'm some awesome chef. So yeah, it's just fun to, to do that. So I don't know, I definitely recommend getting creative in the kitchen because that's what veganism has brought me as well. I used to just eat and consume and you know try not to eat carbs and all this, but veganism brought about this whole new creativity in the kitchen. So I don't know, if you're not vegan, maybe you should consider maybe doing like one vegan day a week so you can Pinterest up some really cool recipes or check out Thug Kitchen, that's a great cookbook that's vegan. So definitely try to get inspired. Would you date or marry someone who is not vegan? <laughs> I've had this question a few times actually. And I just wanna say, just because somebody isn't vegan it doesn't mean they're not a good person. Like I said, I only know a handful of people who are vegan in this world. So if I come across the guy of my dreams and he's vegan, I mean, awesome. But I'm not going to judge people based on their non-veganism. You know, we're all on a journey here. I myself, a year ago, I remember saying to my friend Michaela, I don't think I could ever be vegan. And then here I am, like super vegan. <laughs> but. I think that as a whole, I am looking for somebody who's like a soulmate to me, somebody who I feel at home with, somebody who I can talk to about all the things that I'm interested in and they respect me. I'd say respect is the biggest thing here and also open-mindedness because I would never date somebody in the future who does not have an open mind. So this person would need to be accepting of me. If they aren't vegan, they need to accept that and they need to support me with my choices as I would support and love them for their choices. But that being said, I wouldn't date somebody who isn't interested in health and personal well-being because that is a huge part of my life and that's something that I'm very passionate about. For example, I wouldn't date somebody who doesn't take a conscious effort to be a better person every single day. I wouldn't date somebody who makes poor decisions even though they know what better decisions would be. I really want somebody who's striving to be a better person every single day just like myself because that will motivate me. And I bet you anything, I can make this person meals and they wouldn't even know that they're vegan. And sooner or later, I would rub my veganness off on them. <laughs> that's what I'm thinking anyways. But you can grow with somebody in love and that's the way that I hope it will be. Is it true that vegans need to take B12 vitamins since they don't consume animal products? Also, if you do, can you tell a difference in your body whether you take the vitamin or not? So is it true that vegans need to take B12 vitamin? No. 
I don't think so. Listen, I'm not a doctor. I don't want to be a doctor trying to preach at you or anything like that. It depends what you're putting into your diet. If you're making a conscious effort to put B12 into your diet through plant milks and things like that, then you don't need to take the supplements. My friend Anne Marie, you guys have met her before. I did an interview with her on the channel. So Anne Marie has an amazing video on B12. So I'm going to link that below. It's just action packed with great information. So is her entire channel on nutrition and fitness. And she's just awesome. I definitely just recommend checking her out. But okay, so did I notice the effects on my body after taking B12 supplements? I started taking B12 supplements a few months after becoming vegan. And when I first became vegan, my skin was just so clear and so glowy. And then all of a sudden I started taking the B12 supplements and I started to break out and I had this like bumps on my skin. Like I told you guys, I was having a very bad breakout when I first moved here to Italy. You know, I couldn't figure out what this was about for months. And I think it was partially stress related, but then I was on the phone with my friend Michaela one night and I was like, I just don't understand what's going on with my skin because I am using plant-based products. Like every, I'm just, I'm not irritating it. So I don't know what's causing it. And I feel like since being in Italy, I've definitely decompressed and de-stressed. She said, you know, are you taking any supplements? And I'm like, well, I'm taking my iron pills and also B12. And she's like, maybe it's the B12. So I started to do some research on B12 and I found that it can actually cause people to break out as like a side effect in your face because it produces more oil. And I realized that I'm actually consuming enough B12 through plant milks and other things that I don't need to be taking B12 supplements every day. So for example, if I didn't drink plant milk for like a week, then I would take a supplement. But it's not something you need to take consistently if you're including that into your diet. I hope that helps and I don't want to sound preachy and I don't want to, you know, people to hate because I'm trying to be a doctor and I'm not a doctor. <laughs> but this is my personal experience with B12, so that's why I kind of wanted to tell you guys. And I did actually want to make a video on B12 and just the breakout on my skin because now my skin's all cleared up and I haven't been taking my B12 supplements. I've just been making sure to include B12 in my diet through other foods. So hopefully that helps you. And if you guys do have any questions on nutrition or whatsoever, like I said, my friend Anne Marie's channel, I'll link it below. She's got everything. Next, how do you find it vegan while traveling? Do you have any issues? So in a past Q&A I did with you guys, it's actually been easier than expected being vegan in other countries. Like you are faced with some challenges and you might not be able to buy those things that you're used to buying at the grocery store. But when you find them, like I found them in Amsterdam, I just became all the more excited and more appreciative of them. So being in a different country and traveling and going to grocery stores, you're always gonna be able to find, you know, fruits and veg and a grain of some kind. So stick to the basics. It'll make you a lot healthier, to make you feel a lot better too. And I think that you shouldn't have any problems. I just wanna say, don't be scared to travel anywhere being vegan. And I hope that you aren't afraid to say I'm vegan at a restaurant because in the times when I've been a little bit nervous to say I'm vegan and kind of come, have come out and said it, the chef wants to do something super spectacular for me. Like I was here in Rome. I remember it was, I think it was, October and I was at a restaurant by myself and I was like listen I'm vegan and really like some pasta I just want to make sure there's no eggs and blah, blah blah and they made me just the most amazing pasta dish tons of fresh vegetables even brought along a free side of bruschetta and it was just so nice so a lot of the time people really want to impress you those people who really enjoy being a chef like I mentioned being vegan allows for a whole lot more creativity in the kitchen so I just hope that none of you are scared to travel because of your diet choices Anyways, that was the last question on here, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and please, if you have any more questions, leave them below. I would absolutely love to answer them, and i love to hear from you. I hope that you're making healthier choices every single day. Love you. Bye.